As we know, within our runner system, we have our sprue, which brings the plastic from the barrel into the runner. And from the runner, the plastic runs into the cold slug before it ends out of the runner and goes into the gate. We're going to be talking about the gate, which is a very small piece of plastic that's formed into the end of the runner. As you can see, the gate attaches to the part, like shown, and in this example, it's right here on the edge of the part. And so some facts about the gate, the edge gate, is that it's manually trimmed by operators post-molding. So that means that there's an operator on the injection molding assembly line that takes a part out of the mold after it's uh, been created and cooled and they cut the um, gate from the piece, which leaves a scar. Now, the gate itself has a rectangular shape to it, and the edge gate channel can be enlarged without removing the tool from the machine. Now, what does this mean? It means that the core and cavity can be separated from each other, and someone can grind down the channel, which makes up the edge gate, in order to make it larger so that more plastic can flow. So this rectangular edge gate can become uh, elongated in its width, which makes it easier for the plastic to come into the part. And the last thing is that it's a simple cutout shape is easy to design and mill because it's just one channel. Attached to the part between the core and the cavity, that's where it lies. It's uh, right here where the core and cavity meet. And the edge gate itself can fill the part either from the side, which is the way I'm showing it, but it can also be on the inside of the part. It can be on the back face of the part. The part can be flipped over so that there's a multitude of ways that it can be done, but it's often put right on the parting line. So here's a top view of a theoretical edge gate. Now, this dimension is 20 thousandths at its minimum, and the, this width is two to 10 times of the part wall thickness, looking at it from the top. Now, if we look at it from the side, there's always going to be a radius here. It's not shown, but there's always a radius so that way the plastic can flow from the large runner into this small gate. And the thickness of it is about a quarter to three quarters of the part wall thickness.